cold outside, it tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind, I'm all for a good start. I hear the single bell. Happy December everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting our front porch decorated for Christmas. This has been on the top of my to-do list and I have just anxious, anxiously been wanting to do it. I just have not had a second. So today we are getting that tackled. We are hanging Christmas lights. Wait till the end to see a nighttime version of how everything turned out. It's so cozy. It makes me feel like I'm not in the sweltering heat of Florida. It's just so cozy. So make sure you stick around to the end to see that. But I had three cups of coffee today, so it's probably going to be a chatty video, which is not normal for me, but I thought maybe we would just chat and catch up and um, clean off this porch because Lord knows it needs it. We live by strawberry fields. If you're unfamiliar with my other videos, we live by strawberry fields and it just gets so, so dirty. It is, um, we live in the winter strawberry, strawberry capital of the world. So they are planting strawberries, they are picking strawberries, and there's just dust all over everything. So this porch needs a really good clean and I'm just gonna kind of reset it, not wash it down, just sweep it off and just get it set to decorate for Christmas. How has your Christmas season been so far? I know it's only December, but I really have been trying to slow down and soak in this time before Christmas comes and goes, which I know will happen just so quickly because Thanksgiving's already like three weeks behind us, which is just insane to me. Um, but I'm trying really to just get everything done ahead of time this way in the remaining few weeks I can just sit back and relax. I do have two little kids who keep me on my toes. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and I just really want to enjoy the, the season with them and it just makes it so special having kids. You get to like relive your Christmas nostalgia through them which is really cool. But I am going to try and get my Christmas wrapping done. I'm actually going to do a no talking Christmas wrapping with me. So if you want to hang out with me more, make sure you subscribe and I'm going to do like a relaxing video where I don't talk so you won't have to listen to me jabber on. But I'm going to get their presents wrapped way ahead of time and show you what I got them and just try and slow down in these remaining few weeks of the year. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day. I think I had mentioned this on a previous Christmas Decorate With Me video, but my family is coming down from Pennsylvania to spend Christmas in Florida with us. And this is my dad's first time ever off the farm for any holiday, let alone Christmas. And I just wanted to make sure the house was extra cozy and Christmassy and just give it that little touch of Christmas, even though I know we're not gonna have a white Christmas, we're probably not even gonna have a cold Christmas. So I just wanted to make it extra cozy on this porch. I know we're gonna spend a lot of time out here. So I actually went and got a $20 pencil tree, artificial tree from Facebook Marketplace, and I wanted to put it out here on the front porch. I wanted a fuller one, but it just seems that everybody is scooping them up so quick. I feel like everyone's kind of turned to the artificial Christmas tree route which I'm totally on board for and so this was kind of only the only ones that I saw left so I just went and scooped it up and maybe next year I'll put a more full flocked tree on here but for now this does the trick and it looks so cozy at night make sure you stick around to see the end but I, I think that just kind of gives it the element of coziness out here so 10 out of 10 recommend putting a fake tree on your front porch
The only things that I'm using on my front porch are things that I had left over from my Christmas bins decorating inside. So I'm just gonna see what I have here and use it up. I really don't have a plan. I'm just kind of plugging things in as I go and seeing what I like. But I did notice I have a lot of silver bells that I didn't use inside that I typically do. So I guess we're going with like a silver bell theme on the front porch and I really love how it turns out. And silver bells is like one of my favorite Christmas carols. and. I don't know about you but like every year I get so I get more and more sentimental like literally Christmas songs are bringing me to tears in the car and <laughs> I don't know what it is I I really think it's the older you get the more you get back to the true meaning of Christmas and that is celebrating the birth of Christ and a savior and I think that um, as I get older that that meaning the true meaning of Christmas really does hit harder to home I love finding ways to reuse ornaments or decor that I have like pine cones in unique ways and last year I used these white ornaments that I didn't use on my tree. I put them in a tall glass vase as like a cylinder vase and it looks so elegant and timeless and um, it was so simple. I used it as a centerpiece and it looked really good and I actually decided to do it here on the front porch just because I love the simplicity. But I'd love to hear what do you guys reuse uh, your ornaments for like if you have any left over or what do you do to reuse some of your existing decor because I always love changing it up and using them in really unique ways and I actually have a link to a video that I did a couple years ago on three Christmas crafts and there's one craft that I did with mason lid jars and it comes out or mason lid sorry the mason jar lids and they turn out so stinking cute I make them every year and put them on presents and they look like little ornaments or little wreaths but I'm gonna leave that link down below if you're interested in doing some crafts I have a whole video on that Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. If you've ever watched any of my porch decorate with me videos, you know that my hack is to just buy inexpensive outdoor pillows and then just cover them through the seasons or for whatever event I'm decora decorating for. And it just eliminates the hassle of needing to go out and buy new outdoor throw pillows or needing to store them if you have limited storage space it's much easier to just store the pillow covers than the actual pillows so that's what I do each season I just change out the pillow covers and it works beautifully but I'm gonna be honest it's really hard for me to post super consistently because I have two little kids like I mentioned earlier and they keep me very busy they're under th three and under so um, they're usually crying <laughs> off to the side or needing me and I have to stop a million times of what I'm doing which is completely fine this is just a hobby and just something to um, it's just my creative outlet so that's completely fine but I just wanted to give an explanation why I try and post as often as I can but if I don't that's probably why I'm just kind of caught up with life and it is what it is but 
If you subscribe and you hit the notification bell, you will not miss a video and you'll know exactly when I upload. And I just truly appreciate you guys being here. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me I love these green velvet stockings that I found in a thrift store in Pennsylvania a couple years ago when we were up there for Christmas. I always use them inside on our master bedroom doors. We have twin doors heading into our room and they just go perfectly there, but this year I wanted to use them in a different space, so they actually fit perfectly out here on our porch. If you know, I usually have the huge white old farmhouse window that I hang up here, but I just wanted to do something different and I love how this turned out. But on that note, thrift stores up north, I feel like are so much better than the ones down here in the south. At least in our area in Florida, that is. I can't speak for the rest of the south, but I just have found, I find so many good treasures up there in Pennsylvania at the thrift stores up there. But that's just my opinion. And I, I really think you can find some good Christmas, unique Christmas decor in thrift stores. That's my favorite place to look for Christmas. Stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace.
keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on I hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas porch. I'm so ready to kick back and relax this Christmas season. And I hope you stick around and I'll see you in the next video. This holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin I Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you.